Um, <laughs> Y'all, I should have gone through this bag. This is embarrassing. So, I okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a what's in my bag slide descent edition. Now, in order to make this fun for not just you, but for me as well, I have not looked in this bag for probably five to seven days. And that's like the last time I flew because the Charlotte weather has been crazy. We had like the snow day where they went, it was crazy. Anyways, so this is going to be my flight is in a bag and it is a large bag and it is now a heavy full bag. So I didn't take anything out or put anything in. So if you want the raw addition to what I really carry around, here we go. Okay, so to start off with, it is a Cole Haan bag and it is pretty big and extra full and heavy. Now I will say this is a company issued bag, but it has been through everything with me. I mean, this bag has seen a lot of stuff and a lot of its days I have used and abused it. And as you can tell, it is an awesome condition. Like not stained, not ripped, not torn, nothing in the threads, still in good condition. I mean, this bag has really been through a lot. So shout out to Gohan because that's awesome. That was a really good condition bag. So to start off with, I will show you the front and you can see it has like a little pocket right in here as well as the larger pocket. And then when you flip it to the back, it does have a smaller personal pocket right here. And then it has right here a way to put it through the handles of your suitcase. So it can actually just rest on the back of your suitcase. And if you don't like that and you just want another pocket, it does have a zipper so you can zip it at the bottom and then it just becomes another pocket. So if I'm not traveling with it on my suitcase and I'm just wearing it as a purse, I can go ahead and zip that up and stick some more into it because that's what it really needs. <laughs> okay, so from the beginning, let's start with the outside pockets. So on the small little pocket, I have nothing. <laughs> okay, so on the bigger pocket, I have my flight and a tablet, which <laughs> we're already off to a bad start. Okay, so it is a loner tablet. Um, so I left my tablet onto a plane coming back. It was like a late night turn and I left it on the galley, which sadly this actually happens quite a bit. Not for me, but for other flight attendants. This was my first time doing it. But I left it in the galley and then I was calling and calling and calling the IT department and it, we had to report it lost. And then of course somebody always comes back and says they found it and calls the number, blah, blah, blah. So I do have my loner pocket, which also means I have some extra goodies in here. So anyways, that's my loner tablet. I do have my badge and my KCM and all sorts of stuff. So there's that. And <laughs> I also carry around with me a dryer sheet in the winter. And I know that some of you are like, okay, what the f But, uh, okay. All right, I really, I do know it's weird, but I do carry around a dryer sheet with me. Not only does it smell good, it makes my purse smell good, but it is so staticky in those planes in the winter time. I don't know what it is. My hair starts getting so staticky and frizzy. So I actually will take like a fresh dryer sheet before my trip and then I'll like go through my hair like this and kind of get the static out. So while I'm flying, I use this dryer sheet quite a bit to get the static off of my hair. So y'all are either gonna think that's brilliant or super strange, and I think it's probably both, but oh well. So in this back pocket, I actually don't have anything right now. Um, I do like to carry around like my tablet sometimes in that back pocket, but always be careful because again, you don't wanna confuse the back pocket with the, the handlebar pocket and then lose something. Okay, so let's dive in. So, because I have that loaner tablet, I do know I have some extra stuff in here, including this bad boy. So, it does have the extra charger in here. It does have um, the universal plugs. So, you always want to make sure you're carrying that because you never know if you are going to get called for an international layover. And that's pretty much what's in here. But because I'm saying extra stuff, that's because I actually have my normal one in here as well. So I love these. This was just like a clear bag. The company gave it to us and I, I really could find a cuter one, but I just haven't yet. I, I, I don't know. I like this one. 
But anyways, it does have my charger. It has my universal charger. I really don't know what this orange plug is. It looks like it's like, yeah, I don't know what that is, but I think it's another part of a charger. And then usually if I'm traveling, I will go ahead and put um, my phone charger in here. I'll put my Apple Watch charger in here. Sometimes my laptop charger, just kind of depends. But I do actually really like this little plastic baggie. It has seen a lot too. Okay, so the next thing I have in here, let's get the bulky items out, is my flight attendant applications for the credit cards. Um, I do participate in the credit card program because I actually do make fairly good money on it. So I carry around those applications with me every month. They switch like what the applications look like or the deal they're offering or whatever. So those do change monthly, but a lot of times I do just go ahead and carry them in here because this bag, a lot of times I won't put an overhead bin. I'll kind of tuck it underneath the seat or somewhere nearby me. And so it's a lot easier for me to get the applications out of here instead of out of my, my suitcase. Uh, next thing I have is, whoop, is a book. I always carry some kind of book um, with me, and this one's awesome. It's kind of like a businessy book, which I don't even know if you can read the title in here. But it's just like a, a really influential kind of book. I don't know. I really like it, and I really like Dale Carnegie. But anyways, I always carry a book with me. It's just nice to read. Um, it's always good to learn, but also to entertain yourself on some of those longer flights. So books are a necessity to me. Um, another thing I have is Lucky You Perfume. Um, I always just keep stuff in the box, especially because it's in like a glass um, bottle. So I do tend to like stuff back in their boxes. Plus it's easier for me to organize. And I actually did drop this perfume in the galley because somebody blew the lab up, which happens a lot. And I usually do carry poopery with me, which I think it's not in this bag. I think it's in another bag. But anyways, I also carry perfume in pretty much all of my bags. And I was spraying this in the galley one day and the whole entire bottle dropped and I thought it was going to break and it didn't. So good job, Lucky. So the next thing in here is my gloves. It is winter time. These are Calvin Klein gloves. I love the quality of these, but your girl is bougie on a budget. So these are definitely from TJ Maxx, which probably one of my favorite stores because you can get some awesome, really nice quality stuff, brand name stuff for affordable pricing. But anyways, next thing is my pens. I always carry around a pack of pens with me because when you're doing international flights, people are always going to ask you for pens and so expect to lose a ton of pens every single time that you do an international flight, plus the credit card applications. Always need pens. Um, after that, I have my pocket mask. So it is like the, the pocket mask that goes over your mouth. Um, just to let you see and then some gloves are in here um, and this is one of our required items we have to carry it on us we do have more on the plane but we always have to have one on our items and you want to make sure it's in a bag that's like really easy for you to grab obviously because if it's in an emergency and you need that you need that so after that I do have my flashlight it is another whoops it is another one of our required items and like I said, I pretty much keep everything in a box or in some kind of box because it makes it easy to organize, especially like on the plane. I don't know what that is. Okay, so the next thing I have <laughs> is a smushed Quest bar. Now I used to eat these a lot. I don't really eat them much anymore, but my mom, last time I was in Texas, probably a week or two ago, sent me off with um, three of these. So I just put them in my bags. They are easy snacks. I do usually carry around protein bars with me. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I should have gone through this bag. This is embarrassing. So I have a pair of used eyelashes. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I don't know why I'm surprised. I didn't even know these were in here, but I... <laughs> It does make sense to me. I the okay, I can go without makeup, but the one thing I will not go without is eyelashes pretty much. So, I guess that shocks me that that was in here because I didn't know it was in here, but I'm not surprised it's in there if that makes any sense. Okay, so I also have um cough drops. 
I, I haven't really been sick lately because usually I start feeling sick. I take an airborne, which is amazing, and then I start feeling better. And there's so many germs on the plane. So it is often that flight attendants will get sick because people are disgusting. <laughs> Kidding, but no, but because people do bring their germs onto the plane and you're in a confined space with recycled air So I do have cough drops on me Um, All right, so I have the little wings. I always carry some of these on me I think there's like a few in here a few in some of my other bags a few in all my bags really And I just think it's really cute when their kids come on and their first flyers or whatever They love these the parents love these I love to give them out so I always have some of these on me um, <laughs> y'all, okay, so next I have a ton of, um, of mints, a lot of mints that I, um, uh, took from first class, or I was gifted, I was gifted myself some mints, okay, anyways, I have a bunch of, uh, mints. And I also have a headband in here. I like to keep headbands in my bags because I do like to work out on my layovers. And it is always, always, always good to have a headband. So I have a bunch of these, so I just keep one on me. Um, next, I have <laughs> my IKEA family card. I have my parking pass. I have a, a Panera card. I have a Weston Sleepwell Lavender Balm. Didn't know I had that. Um, some other business cards. I meet people on flights, so they tend to love to give me their business cards, which I actually love. It's an awesome way to network. You're going to meet so many people on the plane, so it's awesome to get other people's business cards. Um, another part of my parking pass, and this is some kind of healthcare expense thing. So, okay, so I have um, more pins and highlighters in the pockets and I guess I didn't show you because I've been like Mary Poppins in here but there is like a pocket down here another pocket here a pocket here um, and then the pen holder and I do have like more mints down at the bottom so we'll take those out all right next <laughs> I have a lot of tickets okay so I have some lottery tickets in here. I didn't win because, well, here I am. So I have some lottery tickets that are not winners. I also have a lens. This is a camera lens. It's for vlogging, really. It goes on the back of uh, my phone, so it's really, really easy to travel with. And I just have like a little clasp that just sticks on the back of my phone. So when I am in cool locations and I want to get like a widescreen view, I have like this little lens I can attach. And this is by memory, I believe. I'll link it. I'll link wherever this is from. But it is really nice. It does help take lots of really, really cool video and, um, and pictures. So on this side, you can see there's another pocket and a zip pocket, which I don't have anything in the zip pocket. And then there is this divider, which is also like a middle zip pocket. So in this pocket, I have another protein bar. I do actually eat these more often than the Quest bars now, which is Robert Irvine's um, Fit Crunch Bar. Awesome. They're awesome. They're a little bit high in fat, so I have to know when to quite eat these. But again, easy, quick snack. So when you're starving and you don't have food, they're awesome. Um, hand sanitizer. Every flight attendant has hand sanitizer. I can promise you. Every flight attendant probably has hand sanitizer on them. I don't know why I said probably. They do. And I do. Again, people are gross and have germs. So even when you're on a plane, people are gross and have germs. So carry hand sanitizer with you. Um, next, I do have some feminine products that probably don't care to see. So we'll get rid of those. Um, I have my house key. I'm not sure why that's on a beer opener. I don't even drink beer, so don't know there. It's probably my husband. <laughs> I have some more of the wings that I was talking about, the little kids' wings. I have 
gum. And I do carry gum because I love gum, but we're not supposed to chew gum on the planes or in the airport or really in general, which is why I do have <laughs> some of those lovely uh, mints, but I always keep gum on me. I love gum. Um, I have a dairy digestive. I'm lactose intolerant and I can't help but eat stuff with lactose or drink. But I also have ibuprofen. Cramps are horrible, y'all don't care, but I do have prescribed ibuprofen from the doctor. Uh, I have a little lip balm because it's winter. So, awesome chapstick. Again, it's winter, so I think most people have chapstick. Um, I have a rechargeable phone or portable USB battery. So good, so, so good. If you are a traveler, I'm sure you have one. If you don't have one, you have to get one. I have like a million of these suckers now, and this one's awesome because it is like a multiple unit, so you can charge multiple things at the same time. But I highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of these. I don't have a specific brand I really recommend yet, but you do need a portable charger with you, especially on these international places. It is never good to be without your phone. And plus, it helps you get out longer without having to come back and charge your phone. So again, that's probably my, my biggest request next to the hand sanitizer. Or I guess shout out, not a request, I don't know. Okay, so I also have a ponytail holder, which I usually have one on my wrist, but always good to travel with, again, I, I work out in the hotel, so it matches the headband. I don't know why they weren't together, but anyways. And then lastly, a toothpick. Uh, I don't know, I don't have an explanation. Just have toothpicks. But that is it besides the, the pen and the highlighters I have not taken out. That is everything that is in my flight attendant bag. I guess that wasn't too bad, okay? I'm sorry I lost my tablet. I'm sorry I embarrassed myself. And some of this stuff is really interesting. I'm not sure why I feel the need to carry some of this stuff with me, but other stuff is super useful. So <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got a good laugh and a good surprise because I did. But anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. If you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. It does mean a lot to me. I do post a lot of travel videos, especially flight attendant videos. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to, to laugh with me and enjoy this. And thank you so much, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.